Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to COP. My fellow global leaders as James Bond today. And the clock is ticking to the furious rhythm of hundreds of billions of pistons and turbines and furnaces and engines with which we are pumping carbon into the air faster and faster, raising the temperature of the planet with a speed and an abruptness that is entirely man-made. <laughs> and we know what the scientists tell us and we have learned not to ignore them. Two degrees more and we jeopardise the food supply for hundreds of millions of people as crops wither, locusts swarm. Three degrees and you can add more wildfires and cyclones, twice as many, five times as many droughts and 36 times as many heat waves. Four degrees and we say goodbye to whole cities. Miami, Alexandria, Shanghai, all lost, and all those promises will be nothing but blah, blah, blah. Now please welcome to the stage Chai Surui. My name is Chai Surui. My father, the great chief Aumi Surui, taught me that we must listen to the stars, the moon, the wind, the animals, and the trees. No more time. May our utopia be a future on Earth. Thank you. Lords, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, after billions of years of evolution, nature is our best teacher. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the COP26 People's Advocate, Sir David Attenborough. Your Excellencies, delegates, ladies and gentlemen. A new industrial revolution, powered by millions of sustainable innovations, is essential and is indeed already beginning. We will all share in the benefits. Affordable clean energy, healthy air, and enough food to sustain us all, <laughs> ensuring none are left behind. We must use this opportunity to create a more equal world, and our motivation should not be fear, but hope. Thank you. Your Royal Highness, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we can work with who is ready to go because the train is ready to leave. Code red. Code red. Thank you. Before we open the floor for questions in a few minutes, uh, I would just like to introduce our last speaker, uh, Bernard Agnanios, who is the co-founder of Heura Foods. I think the summary of what they said, so they made it very easy to me, is that animal meat is obsolete. It doesn't make any sense in this century. It's, it's out. It's from last century. And it is irresponsible that beef is served in these restaurants. It is irresponsible. It doesn't make any sense. I'm going to put like two imaginary worlds. One imaginary world is that there are companies around the world showing that plant-based meat is possible. 
that it's possible. That actually tastes very, very good, very close to meat, and in a few years will be even better. Texture-wise, it's very good, much more sustainable, no animals, plus much healthier. Imagine this world. This world is real, and it's not Eura, it's Beyond Meat, it's Vivera, the vegetarian butcher, and many other companies all around the world showing that this is possible. Last year, one very important university said that you can reduce your footprint, just your footprint as an individual, by 73% by ditching dairy and meat. Let's imagine this world. So this, this world is again possible. Thank you. This is your invitation to lead with light. You were born to be creators with the most inconvenient truth to honor the earth. Come leading lights. We were born to be creators of the possible future. Ancestors of tomorrow, this is an intervention. Earth is talking to you today. You have heard Earth's impassioned message to you all. Earth is calling for action this day. This has been Earth to Cop. <laughs>